guys. There we go. We've got people popping in. Hi. How are you this evening? Tell me where you guys are c coming in from. Hello. A lot of activity. Got people popping in. I'm just starting. Rocking the glasses again tonight because it has been a long week and it's only Wednesday. How you guys doing? My shirt says it all. It says a hundred and five percent diet. One of those days. Hang tight. A really, really bad situation. Um, let me. That's something we can talk about. So that way you're a little more comfortable. And this is a really good community. So, I mean, if you wanna put it in chat and we can see if other people have some suggestions for you also, because I haven't shared with everybody your situation, so. Just that I've been helping somebody. So I'm back in my office tonight. I've got all of my sample boxes that I just addressed so that way I can send them out in the morning. And believe it or not, you guys were super amazing. And I actually sold two blankets the other day after showing you guys what I did on the side. So I'm shipping out two blankets tomorrow also. So thank you. Because the struggle has been real to pay some bills lately. And that actually helped me. And because of that, I know we did a, the weird challenge the other night for you guys. Um, if we hit my goal this evening, I am actually going to, anybody who, who does a gift... I'm actually going to put you in the drawing and I'm going to give away one of my blankets that I make. But we have to reach the goal. And it is 25 of the love yous. Because I love you guys. But I am actually in here catching up. I'm... When you guys order stuff from me or get your sample boxes from my products and stuff, I actually write, I'm going to cover up the name, I actually write you guys a letter and put it in with each thing, telling you that I appreciate you. Kind of just my own little spin on it. Because I am. I'm really grateful for you guys. You guys have been really, really helpful. If you guys are popping in, tell me where you are, where you're located. Hi, Evan. Hi, Steven. Carlos, how are you guys doing? I also had to finish cleaning my car out tonight. They said that my new car will be here in like a day. So that was interesting. You always have to like go through like, you think you get everything. Then all of a sudden, like 
you forgot that you had crap stuck underneath the wheel barrel thing in the back of your truck and so there's all kinds of stuff little like housekeeping maintenance things Do you guys just, I know everybody texts now and stuff, but do you guys actually like take time to like write a card to anybody anymore? Just a question. Like most people just be like, hey, how you doing? Thinking about you. But like actually physically sit down and like write out it and mail it to somebody. Or is that just too much effort anymore? I do. I'm actually, that, like I said, that's what I'm doing right now. I like to do that. See? And also, it's, it's a great outlet. So, it's like journaling to get the stuff out of your head. If you hear yelling, it is because I have a lively daughter in the other room who's watching something and she's yelling at the TV. What car did I get? Okay, so for those of you who are joining in, doesn't know, um, because of my divorce, I had to uh, refinance my vehicle and my home. Well, because I refinanced my home, I wasn't able to refinance my car. It, there was a complication. So what I did was I went back to the Toyota dealership and told them my situation. And because I'm positive on my car, um, they actually bought my car back from me. And I ended up buying a newer version of my car. So it'll be a it'll 23 Highlander instead of a 22. And in my case, it's actually a good thing because... I hit a couple of potholes when I was in Texas and caused a boo-boo on the car and now I don't have to fix it. So, bonus for me. I have no idea what color it is either. They just ordered it because if you guys have gone car shopping, you know that there is nothing out there right now. So, I have to take whatever, whichever one comes in and I'm like, okay. We're going to start out really slow tonight again. There's people popping in and out. I appreciate all the likes, guys. Thank you. Mm -mm. We're going to be mellow tonight. It's going to be mellow because we're not talking about toes. I say that and then we're gonna get some people popping in. Watch. Hi Ashton, how are you? And we got Claudia in. I'm waiting for my regulars. I know that I'm gonna have like Robert and the other ones jump in here in just a minute. It's not as easy to stay consistent as people think to do it every night at the same time. But it's really something I'm trying hard to do. My allergies are all over the place. The good news is it rained today, so it should help. I'm actually writing out a special note to somebody, one of my followers, for all the help he does for me. 
So, yeah. Just kind of my way of saying thank you. Hi, Troy, how are you? Ray, I think it's just you and me. Just the two of us. It's kind of like a date now. <laughs> and then I say that people are going to start popping in. <laughs> Three, okay. Uh, that's funny. I got all my stuff boxed up and ready. I'm gonna flip the camera so you can see. With all my letters, I'm just waiting. They lost my, oh, I forgot. This is how slow I am. I totally forgot I have a P.O. box now for my business. And they're all like, I got the notification saying it was delivered. I sent the girls out to the mailbox four times. And then I realized that it was delivered to the PO box. Because I'm a genius. I'm having a moment today. And really bad days on days where I have to work and then I do all of this stuff. Yeah, funny. I know. I was Mary was laughing. She was just like, "You're stupid, mom." And I was like, oh, "I know." But yeah, rough day at work. And I wish I could say that my rough day was my customers. My rough day is not my customers. My rough day is dealing with leadership. That is my rough day. And it's exhausting balancing the line between like being HR appropriate and wanting to say something that you know was going to get you fired. Um, if it wasn't for the fact that I have a mortgage that I have to pay, I would definitely say something. But I have to pay my bills. So I got some uh, more subscribers on my YouTube also. Um, I know it's a big number. We surpassed 15 now. So I'm excited. And I'm thinking, not too bad for just starting it <laughs> and uploading our videos from every night. It's little, it's baby steps and things start to grow. So, so I'm in that baby step process. The learning how things work and how to get traffic in right directions and following up with the right people. Having the right people on my team that support me and help me. 
all key elements. Hi guys, thanks for joining. I need to start playing some music in the background too. Start taking requests. I don't think we want to listen to my music. The music is a little crazy. Hey, how are you? I think I look more tired tonight than I did last night, and I was more tired last night than I was tonight. Crazy how that works. I got to work from home today though, so I was really excited. I got to miss that drive in and out of town, especially with the rain. So if anybody was in like is in Kansas, the Midwest area, that it just started storming for like it just like perfectly bright and sunny, and then all of a sudden looked like there was gonna be a tornado. I was like duck and cover. Mary was outside doing the yard and she was just all freaking out. She's just like, the wind just picked up. I'm all like, get inside, Dorothy. And then my youngest one is sick. I thought she got COVID for me because I had COVID last week and the week before, but no. But she sounds horrible. We don't have a whole lot of interaction tonight. It's gonna be low key. I think it's because it's Wednesday. Oh, all my followers are at church, aren't they, Ray? They're like Wednesday. Go, go pray and start the week fresh again. I need some Jesus too, it's okay. Which is why I just realized I wasn't wearing my necklace. You know what I thought that I haven't done in a long time that I really need to do? I need to go bowling. I haven't bowled in forever. The kids were asking me today things that they could do over the summer. We have a a wildlife preserve here called Tanzanica. And my mare bear wants to go because they have sloths. And sloth is her spirit animal. So I'm like, I may have to actually take him to a wildlife park. Hey, Ray, that would be something fun for you to do if you come and we can show you. Thanks for all the likes, guys. I appreciate it. And the shares. Like I said, we're gonna. It's Wednesday. I just think it's Wednesday. It's just like a low-key day. I'm working on my sample packets, my letters. Like I said, I would shared with you guys my other side job that I do, which is um, arts and crafts, and I um, ended up selling two blankets. So if we hit our goal tonight, anybody who participates in it is going to get put in, and I'm going to do a drawing for one of my blankets. So... That would be great. You guys seem to like it when I put a challenge out there of some kind. <laughs> Did 
Junior, all your likes. Thank you. I really appreciate that. That actually helps more than you guys know. I have another thank you card I'm writing. It's Stone Bay, right? Yeah, for a few more days. So, my daughter, my oldest one, she's gonna be turning 20 in two weeks. And um, she doesn't have phone service. She has a phone. So, if she's not connected to Wi-Fi, the device doesn't work. But she has Snapchat and stuff. So, I will send her a snap and then when she gets Wi-Fi, it'll pop in. And I expect her to, you know, respond. Like, tell me you're alive. And I can see when you open your snap. Like, seriously, you opened it. Respond to me. She refuses. So the next day I send her another one and she didn't respond again. This happened for like four days in a row. Well, I do know where she works. I don't know where she lives, but I know where she works. So... I went and I hunted her down. It took me two days to pin her down. And I'm like, kid, I don't care if you hate me. But when your mother texts you, at least acknowledge the fact that you're alive. And she's just like, I don't think that I need to do that. And I'm all like, huh. I think that is respectful. I live with my mother. And I still tell her where I'm going and what I'm doing. <gasps> Junior, you did, didn't you? You're amazing. Thank you. I really appreciate that. I'm still new to all of this, so I still don't know how I like all those rankings and all this stuff works. So I'm learning. But with my child, she's just a rebel by herself. But I told her next time that I may not be so nice. And I may actually have to find out where she lives. Hey, Robert, how are you? We were just talking about my day. And my baby child who doesn't respond to me. <laughs> and then my other one in the other room was being really loud. Thank you for all the likes, guys. Yeah, I was saying how shitty my day was at work. The only bonus was I got to work from home. Oh, thank you, Junior. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate that. So, Robert, you just got in. And what I was explaining earlier was... Um, I showed you guys the blankets that I made the other day. I actually had some people reach out to me and I sold two of them. You bought a new lawnmower. I have an electric one, so. Or a battery powered one. But yeah, so I sold two blankets the other day after showing you guys um, what I, my other side business I do. So if we reach my goal tonight of the 25 love yous, I am actually going to put whoever helps in a drawing 
And I'm, I'll actually show you guys the blanket I'm going to give away. It is that gray one right there. I'm going to do a drawing for anybody who helps. Um, yeah, the blue one I showed right there, that one actually sold. I had somebody reach out and ask me for it. So I shipped that out tomorrow along with my, all my boxes with their personal letters on them. Those are getting sent out tomorrow as well. So since I have to work, my mom's going to take everything for me and ship it. And I told her exactly, because I live in a small town, okay? And if you haven't watched my TikTok about small towns, it's pretty funny. But um, I was like, there's one post lady. Her name is Stephanie. I was just like, just tell her I sent you in there. And she'll know what to do with all of my boxes. And then I'm writing thank you notes. The lost art of writing. My children can't even read my cursive. That's really sad. Like beyond sad. So I do like this half cursive half regular writing so yeah <laughs> so they can still kind of see what i'm writing and then other times they're all like um can you just read this to me i'm all like i feel like i need to give you a decoder book Thank you for all the likes, guys. Like I said, yeah. we don't have a whole lot of people in here tonight. <laughs> They're all like, is this an M or an N? And what letter is this? And I'm like, oh my God. I think we have failed our children by not teaching them because if nothing else, we need to teach our kids how to sign their name for legal documents. These kids can't sign their name. They print it and they're like, no, I need a signature, hon. And they're like, that is my signature. And I'm like, <laughs> we are in trouble. Oh, that ash and she popped back in. I don't know how to do that whole join thing when somebody like asks to be invited or whatever. I've never done that. Like I said, I'm, I'm still kind of new. I'm just trying to accomplish week one of being consistent on doing my time frame <laughs> for being on here <laughs> and my daily posts and my uploads along with working and working on my ghost commerce stuff. So. Because I got a feeling if I keep pushing it at work, I may not have a job. So y'all are going to have to help me out. And like, I'm, I'm going to have to be on here like 24 <laughs> seven and learn all, all the social media stuff. Because a policy today, I got in trouble again. Like that's two days in a row. And I'm like, all I'm trying to do is help my customer here, dude.
Like, why won't you just let me help them? So I got an email back from my team managers like, I think we need a meeting in the morning. And I was like, yeah, probably do. <laughs> my daughter's like, mom, don't get fired, please. I want to live in our house. And I was like, if they fire me, I can get unemployment. I was like, I just can't quit. So, you know, you guys will know tomorrow if I have a job or not. I'll have my cash app in here and be all like, donate to the needy. <laughs> well, Robert, if you understood the policy that they were trying to do, it it's horrible. And I'm a big advocate for my customers because big business sometimes just sucks. And I know you guys don't know where I work because I haven't told you where I work, but it, it is for a call center. And the policy is like, you're not allowed to bring this charge up to the customer. Now, if the customer says something, it's okay. But you can't proactively tell them they're being charged for this feature. So they sent me over the doc and I read through the whole thing and I was just like, I sent it back over to them with a bunch of stuff highlighted in a note. And I was like, I find this fundamentally wrong. Why would we do this to people? 10 years ago when I started, we would never have done that to a customer. But now you're like hiding charges and stuff. I was like, we're no better than the other companies we're trying to be better than. And that's what got me in trouble. See, that's what I said. Uh, and I, and I, but they don't like people who speak up. They, they want people who follow the crowd and just do what they're supposed to do. But like I said, I am a really big advocate for customers because our customers don't know our policies and procedures. We do. And I feel like it's our job to make sure that we're doing right by them. So when they tell me that I'm not supposed to do something like that, like I can't waive fees and stuff, which was what happened yesterday, was I got in trouble for waiving a fee for somebody. I was like, that was wrong too, because it was our fault. And they still wanted me to charge our customer. So I I guess it's just the type of person I am. Like, I, I, it's shitty. Treat people how you want to be treated. So that's my soapbox for the day. Do unto others. But. I'm good. Thanks for joining tonight. <laughs> Can you guys hear that? She is two rooms over. That is how loud she is being. You know, I have been looking for a job, an another job for a year now, and I haven't been able to, to get anything else. And it's not that people aren't hiring. It's just that I either have too, mi too much qualifications. I don't have a degree. Um, my technical certificate for my medical assisting lapsed like 10 years ago when I started working for this other company because I didn't use it. I'm in Kansas. And I'm like, you see these people hiring all the time, but I'm like, that. why are you not actually hiring? Do you just need to have that sign out there or the post out there so people think you're hiring? So it's getting kind of annoying. Well, it's nice to meet you too. Welcome to our uh, little community. Yeah, I'm gonna need it. Uh, 
on my last card and then I'm done with these for the evening. Well, I get that. And I should have probably started my training and stuff for my ghost marketing when I was out for my car accident. The smart side of me should have done that. And I didn't do it. So I'm doing as much as I can now because, like I said, in the foreseeable future, I, I see myself not working at this company, but I do like what I am doing from home. I just have to make sure that it is producing enough income so that way I don't have to worry about losing the other income. Stay retired. <laughs> But being retired, you know, there's so many ups and downs with that also, because my mom, who's retired, she has to live with us uh, because of the way everything is fluctuating so much. She can't set a budget and stay on it. So at least living here, she knows that this is how much she contributes to the mortgage this is how much she contributes to the utilities. And then the rest of the money is hers to do, you know, whatever she needs. But like I do all the grocery shopping and I pay for, you know, all the other stuff. And that's just because being on a fixed income, you don't have a lot of cushion anymore. You retired also? Yeah, one day. Um, so you're new to the community. Um, no, I'm not married. I got divorced last year. So we've had to uh, make some adjustments and cutbacks. So my my 16 year old, she's so cute. She's just like, Mom, I don't want to be poor again. It's <laughs> like. Oh my God. She is, she remembers when, when we had nothing and I don't, I don't want us to go back to that stage either, but she is such a sweetheart that she actually got a job so that we, she can contribute to the house to make sure that we don't have that hard of a time. So I feel good that, that I've raised kids that, have compassion that way. Sorry, I'm on my last thank you note and I'm like stuck on the, the last part of what I want to put in here. So I'm like thinking. So yeah, whenever anybody buys anything from me or I do my sample boxes, I send out uh, special notes with them. Thank you. I'm kind of hoping it works out too. If not, oh, oh I'm going to be in trouble. At least I have a tent that's off the back of my uh, my truck. I mean, we could camp for a while again, like we did when they were little. They thought that we were just camping for a couple of months. Um, that was what was great about that age is they didn't realize that we were homeless for a couple of months. So I actually have a couple side businesses that I do. One is during the holiday seasons, I do arts and crafts and um, I make blankets and that's what I was letting you guys know was that the other day when I showed the blankets that I made, I actually sold two of them. Um, and if we reach our goal of the 25 love yous, um, anybody who participated, I'll put it in a drawing and I'm giving away. Give me a second. I'll show you guys the blanket. Boop. There is this gray blanket right there that I'm giving away tonight. If we reach our goal, the, um, what color is that? All of a sudden it left my brain. 
the bluish color of the teal. That one actually sold, but that was the one I showed you guys the other night. That was kind of funny. And then over here, I have my um, nutrition products that I sell, but I get do, I'm doing sample packs this week that I'm sending out to people. But the vitamins that I use are the ones that I used when I was losing all of my weight. So I've been using those for a long time. Well, Robert, if you're in, you got to go in there and you got to start purchasing the little love you thingies. So that way you can get put into the drawing because I don't have any yet. Oh, you want to join the camp? <laughs> you want to join the camping? <laughs> Not the participating to help me reach my goal. Okay. Yeah, I have one of those tents. Um, so when I had to switch out my car, I actually got a like for a light car, which was nice. So that way the tent can still hook on the back of my car, which is really neat. Because it stands like eight feet and it sleeps four people. So it's like having an extension off the back of your car. It's it's awesome. <laughs> and I camp like a real camper. Like, it's not like we camp and there's like all these luxury things. It's like, I have like my little propane grill. We bring all of our stuff, you know, like it's camping. I actually have some friends that we're going to be going with in a couple weeks. Can you guys hear her? <laughs> oh my gosh. The pedicure. Oh, you missed it yesterday with the pedicure. So, in case you weren't here, here's what happened. I had a gift certificate to this location that I won during the Christmas time. And uh, so my pedicure was free, which was really nice. And then because I'm I'm talking to Linda and telling her what, what's going on, um, I did a review and I was doing my TikTok for you guys at the same time. Uh, they actually ended up giving me another certificate <laughs> to come back again. So it was free and I made money. So it was like a win-win for me yesterday. It was great after the crappy day I had at work. Those are what I call successful days. Oh, I can't spell a word. I'm losing track of how to spell a word. So when you guys voted, you uh, voted on a uh, Corvette Red. So that's what we did. I need to spell a word. I'm dyslexic, so every now and then I have to look up words. I don't want to look stupid. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't think I've ever passed a spelling test in my entire life. So that predict a text thing is a lifesaver for people like me. <laughs> well, you want to know something? I purposely challenge myself because of being dyslexic. And I read, I force myself to read. because I feel it's important. Plus I also feel it's important to show my kids that it's okay to put your phone down and pick up a book. Just like I feel it's important to send notes to people handwritten instead of just always texting. All the skeletons in my closet. Don't. I would look be shut right now, but I don't have any water. And these things taste like crap when you do that. I guess it was a pretty low key day today. Anybody else have any other questions? I guess it's 10 o'clock my time. We did better last night. I went to bed at a decent time. I didn't sleep the best, but I went to bed at a decent time. We didn't get any of the love yous, so I guess we'll have to set a goal again for tomorrow or a new challenge. I can only have my toes done so many times. I'm actually thinking about doing live outside tomorrow since we, uh, Got part of the backyard done. That'd be really nice to be able to sit outside. I'm gonna attempt to cook that brisket this weekend. So, wish me luck that I don't mess it up on the grill. Am I sure? No, I am totally not sure, but I'm going to try. If I don't try, then how do I know? You know what I mean? Yeah. 
You have to learn somehow. Uh, I don't know what kind of grill it is. I bought it as a Father's Day gift two years ago. And what was funny is like he used it once, but my brother used it like all the time. <laughs> so, but I think I only used it once last year. I was trying to make ribs on it and it didn't, I didn't do so hot. <laughs> So you start watching some YouTube videos about it. I just charcoal. I don't like gas. I think they need to teach like grilling 101 classes. I don't know how to do that. Well, I know that much. I know that it has this little thing off to the side where you can put the pellets for the smoking thing. Because I have the pellets for it. But like I said, it's going to be a learning thing. I'll probably set myself up outside this weekend while I'm doing it. So I can get tips and pointers from everybody. So I'll do my live earlier in the day, the, on the weekend. Oh. See, stuff like that. I don't know. But again, I'll learn. I'm a pretty handy person. Okay, guys. I'll be back tomorrow, same time, same place. No, I'm gonna pick a different room tomorrow. I was in here because I had to get these notes and stuff done, but we didn't hit our goal, but I'll set it a goal again for tomorrow. See, you have to like help me this week and do that stuff, but. <laughs> But yeah, I'll let you guys go for the evening. I appreciate you guys, all the likes, all the shares. Um, I, again, can't express to you enough how important you guys have been to me. And yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. And then we can make plans for the weekend because it's a holiday weekend. We got the pool up and running and everything. I just hope it's nice and warm for it so we can actually use it. So, but you guys have a great evening and yeah, we will uh, chat tomorrow again. So thank you guys. Have a good night. <laughs>